good morning children welcome you all for the visual classes conducted by eva myself nandita prabhu this year i'll be handling mathematics for you children so let us begin the first lesson in details so before starting the lesson i would like to give the basic that is type of numbers we all know the different types of numbers like natural numbers whole numbers odd numbers even numbers prime numbers so many types of numbers you have learned so first we will see natural numbers natural numbers counting numbers like 1 2 3 4 etc are called as natural numbers it is denoted by capital n capital n is a set of natural num numbers 1 2 3 x so this is known as natural numbers next type of numbers is whole numbers all natural numbers including zero are called whole numbers and it is denoted by w w is a set of all the numbers starting from zero 1 2 3 So this year you will be learning integers. Integers means bigger collection of numbers which is formed by whole numbers and their negatives. And it is denoted by Z, capital Z. So Z is equal to minus three, minus two, zero, one, two, three. This is the negative part which includes in the integers. So this year. in this lesson you will be learning more about integers so the types of numbers are natural numbers those are known as counting numbers and it is denoted by capital n n is equal to 1 2 3 etc whole numbers all natural numbers including zero are called whole numbers it is denoted by capital w and integers integers are bigger collection of which is formed by whole numbers and their negatives it is denoted by capital z so we will learn more about integers in this lesson so let us continue in the next class thank you children last class we have learned about types of numbers like whole numbers natural numbers and integers so today we will learn more about integers all of you know to represent integers is it the children so i'll take one example and show you how to represent integers see the example one represent integers like minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 on a number line so so draw a line you know the difference between line and line segment isn't it line means Never ending line segment means it has two end points. So you will draw a line that is number line. I have marked here A B C D etc. up to Y. So the question is you have to represent minus three, minus two, minus one, zero, one, two and three. So let us take F as zero. And from zero you can start marking. The numbers one, two, three positive numbers. One, two, three, four also you can put. Or it is not given here, so you need not write this. So just erase this. So zero, one, two, three, and this side to the uh, left of the zero you have minus three, minus two, minus one. So you should start from zero, one, two, three, and from here minus one, minus two, minus one. That that is how we have learned. So this is the answer for this representation of integers on a number. Now let us take second example. They have given a range seven minus five four zero and minus four in ascending order, and then mark them on a number line to check your answer. So first you have to arrange in ascending order. What do you mean by ascending order? Arranging from small number to So let us first arrange in ascending order. So I am writing here arranging in ascending order. We get so the numbers given are seven minus five four zero and minus four. So negative numbers minus five is the small. 
less number then comes minus 4 then 0 then 4 and then 7 this is how you will arrange it ascending order now the same thing in order to check your answer you will draw it on the you will represent it on the number line so I have drawn here one line and marked as 0 so let us uh, represent it this uh, number which we have arranged in ascending order on the number so 0 is here then comes the number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 3. So the number which they have given are minus 5 which is first then minus 4 then comes 0 then comes 4 then comes 7. This is how you will check your answer on the number. Understood children? That's all for this class. We will continue with more examples in the next session. Thank you children. Good morning children. In the previous class you have learned about integers. Is that it? So what are integers? Integers are the numbers which include positive numbers, 0 and negative numbers. So, I have drawn a number line here. Let's see here 0, positive numbers and negative numbers. So, these are known as integers. So, today we will learn about addition and subtraction of integers. On a number line, these are the rules to be followed when we add or subtract integers on a number line. So, we will see the rules. On a number line, when we add a positive integer, we move to the right. When we add a negative integer, we move to the left. When we subtract a positive number, we move to the left. When we subtract a negative integer, we move to the right. So these are the four rules to be followed when we add and subtract integers on a number. So let us now take example and see how to add and subtract integers. So first example, I have taken two positive integers 2 and 3. So 2 plus 3. So 2 is here on the number line. So to move 3 steps to the right. So start from 2, 1, 2 and 3. So answer we get it is 5. So 2 plus 3 is 5. So when we move to the right, we get the answer 5. Now see second example 1 plus minus 2. So 1 is here. So we have to see the second rule. When we are adding a negative integer, we move to the left. So 1 is here. We move to the left. 2 steps. 1, 2. So the answer is minus 1. We get the integer minus 1. So let us move to the third example. We have 3 minus 1. Subtract a positive integer. We move to the left. So 3 is here. We should move to the left one step. So we get the answer 2. So 3 minus 2 is 3 minus 1 is the answer 2. So let us move to the fourth question. Minus 4 plus 3. When we subtract a negative integer, we move to the right. So minus 4 is here. We move 